My name is Rhonda Phillips. I am originally from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, my name is Freddie. I'm 33 years old and I'm living here in Berlin. My name is Ben Seidel. I'm an American missionary living here in Berlin, Germany. I've been here for the last seven and a half years. Jim Johnson. Um, I'm the pastor and founder of this church. It's called Reset Berlin. One of the strong personal convictions I have is that Christianity is not just about us. I think I was going in circles a lot in my head and I was just way, way too much living in the theory and just like being kind of annoyed and bored with church and everything that went wrong and everything I disliked about Christians. We want to have not just an inward focus within our community, but actually be uh, Jesus followers who are focused on the outside. One of those ways is helping and serving a ministry called Cafe Neustart, which reaches uh, prostitutes, people who are involved in uh, sex trafficking. We're right on the, the street, the main prostitution street, one of two main prostitution streets in Berlin. Um, we offer the women a safe place to come. Men are not allowed in the cafe unless they're workers. Um, the pimps are not allowed in the cafe. So this is a safe place for, they, for them to come. And they work with people that um, a lot of other people don't work with. There, a lot of them are drug addicts really in, in a slavery type situation. And so Neustadt's leader, he's a simple man who, who has completely dedicated himself to working with broken people. Wirklich jede, jede Frau ist es wert, sich für sie einzusetzen, ob sie das jetzt wegen der Drogenabhängigkeit macht oder gezwungen wird oder ähm, aus, aus einer Armut heraus aus welchen Zwängen auch immer. Our main purpose is to build relationship and trust with them so that we can instill hope for a better future and to let them know that it's not too late, that they can step out of this and make a new life for themselves. I went into the ministry and I started talking to these prostitutes and started knowing about their lives and all of a sudden everything had so much more urgency and it became an area in my life where I just really understood that God was the only hope why I need to go there as well because I need to, to have these moments in my life where I just really see that, that yeah, we need God. These, these women who come in uh, off the street, so we knew they went through coffee, they went through tea, they went through milk. So we, those are all things that we can buy. If you only give in a situation that benefits you, I think that that's not, not the full extent of giving. Uh, giving in a situation where you have no benefit from it, I think that's the true heart of giving. What do you need practically? I, I have no expertise in working with people who are uh, caught up in, in, in human trafficking or who are addicts. That's not my background. I, I don't really know how to identify necessarily with that. But I do know how to buy coffee and I do know how to buy milk. And we looked at the majority of the people in our context, part of our community, saying this is an easy win. This is totally something that affects uh, the kingdom of God in the city, that affects people who are far from God and shows that we love them, that, 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 that God loves them. Uh, and it shows the Kathy Neustadt that we're behind them. God is already working. That's his mission. He's already working in people's lives and in people's hearts and um, in a lot of different ways. And my job is to give out the hope and the love and the truth. And then it's the Holy Spirit's job to do the rest. I as a Christian, I as a, uh, as a missionary, I as a musician, I as a man, have a responsibility, if I'm going to call myself a follower of Jesus, to be aware of the chaos and then do something about it. And that might just be praying, that might be writing music, that might be creating more awareness, uh, that might be giving of, 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 of financial gifts. Um, I just felt like I needed to do something. I needed to be a part of making this not a normal thing in Berlin. Um, Prostitution is legal, it's normal. Um, and I think it's wicked and it destroys lives. And I want to be a part of something that says, no, this will no longer be normal in our city. We will not stand for it.